this stuff right here. If you guys have turtle issues, anything like that, but it does turn it bright green, this water. Look at this, look at this stuff. It's always important when you see a problem arise to get on it right away with reptiles. Oh, come on, buddy. There you go. Uh, any day now. What are you gonna do? Don't go in, don't go in, don't go in. Let me get this cream on you. Come back. Oh. Check this thing out, guys. I am pumped. We are gonna put Pinky and Slinky in here together, and we are gonna allow them to cohabitate. It's such a beautiful open area. Let's leave it open. Hey, what's going on, everyone? As you can see, I've got quite the mess strewn about the place. I am in the process of setting up a temporary solution for Slinky. Um, here's his pond that I just can't stand, and there's Slinky. He's made it into his new little water hole. This is a very temporary solution. Um, what's been going on is Slinky has some kind of skin uh, fungus or a dermatitis. I've been giving him some Silvadine cream, which is really good. It seems to be responding. And my guess is that this pond just gets too dirty too quickly. It doesn't drain properly now that the rain started up here. There's a lot of sludge at the bottom. I am gonna break a hole in this so that it can just drain. And I'm gonna control for the next couple of weeks that Slinky's in here. We're just gonna keep him in this uh, Waterland tub that I had for some turtles. I had an extra one. So this is big enough for him to get a good soak. It's big enough for him to drink. We got water right here. I can drain it out easily enough. And if I want, I'm gonna be able to put some medication in the water. I may actually try and use a product called Acroflavin, which gets rid of fungus on turtles uh, in the water. So I might use that to see if it will help uh, the skin ailment that he has. But you can see just kind of, you see the light color here is gonna come out right there. You can just kind of see that it's a little bit raw. So I don't want Slinky to have any issues. So we're gonna go clear that up. He's got a little bit right there as well. Just seems to be a little bit on this side. Um, it, I don't know, it doesn't seem to hurt him too much. Um, it's also dirty with the Silvadine. So I think the silvadine has been working and the dead skin's kind of slothing off. Um, but it is something that I wanna keep an eye on and I don't want anything to happen, of course, to this lizard, because I love him beyond all, <laughs> beyond all comprehension, man. I just love this lizard. Here he is just having a look at you guys there's a little bit here again i've been using the silvadine cream and it's coming off so i think we're okay but it's just a matter of you know keeping attention to this so i can treat this water and by treating the water it doesn't hurt him and it'll allow him to heal up faster i believe so that's what we're going to do today we're going to just kind of doctor him up i'm going to blow some holes into this um, so that it can drain when it rains. It should just drain out the bottom. Um, and then eventually, when I take Guapo and Lola and move them in here, I'm gonna fill this up with soil. It'll be a good egg laying area. It'll also be uh, a cool kind of plateau with the rocks and the rock iguanas will really like it. Um, let me show you the progress that's been made on Slinky's new home. So you guys know that we have been working. It's slow going, but it's a big job. And my buddy Jerry has been really uh, invaluable because he's a carpenter and he's been helping me out. It's been uh, just an awesome project, but check this thing out, guys. This is going to be the ultimate Asian water monitor habitat. We're getting going, man. What do you think? I am pumped. Uh, so we have, we're starting to get our top boards on. Um, we're going to get the roof on. We've ordered the materials for the roof. Uh, basically, we are shoring this thing up. It is solid. We've got some gussets right here. This thing does not move, man. I've got someone who knows how to build helping me, and that is just makes all the difference. We're going to have our safety door here, two doors here. But guess what, guys? Because you know I love switching things up. I consulted a few experts uh, that I admire, Tom Crutchfield, Michael Cole, um, people that know monitor lizards, and uh, we are gonna put Pinky and Slinky in here together, and we are gonna allow them to cohabitate. It's a large area. There's gonna be a lot of visual barriers. I'm not even done. I've gotta plant tons of plants in here. I've gotta make sure that this habitat has a lot of visual barriers. 
we're gonna put another hide for Slinky. We're gonna have a hide for Pinky over there with a smaller entrance that Slinky can't really get into easily. Um, so we're really gonna do this up, man. I just don't wanna encumber this thing. Uh, basically, I have the option down the road because of this anchor point here for the screen. I have the option if I want, maybe when Slinky and Pinky pass away, I can divide this and then I can have two habitats. But you know what? It's such a beautiful open area. Let's leave it open. It's gonna be awesome. So we're gonna have a whole video where we are, when we are done and we're introducing Pinky and Slinky into this habitat. That is gonna be amazing. What's good about it is it's gonna be a neutral place, a place where they can actually both be newcomers. So there's no dominance issues. We can let her get comfortable. We can let him get comfortable and they can be together. There's a lot of size difference between male and female Asian water monitors. The males are much, much larger, but the females can sometimes be tougher. So you gotta be careful. It'll, I'll be here. I'm always on hand. I'll keep my eyes on them. It should be pretty good. But in the meantime, it's all about making sure that Slinky's current situation is conducive to him and conducive to healing. So what I wanna do is we wanna come over here and I'm gonna show you this product. I hope I still have it. I think I, ah, there it is. Acroflavin, this stuff right here. Um, if you guys have turtle issues, anything like that, it's for fish, it's for turtles, it helps with fungus. Um, basically guys, it, it treats fungus, okay? So um, I'm gonna go ahead and put that on, uh, put a bit of it into Slinky's home into his water dish i can treat this amount of water uh it would be hard to treat the entire um the entire pond that slinky's in so basically guys i'm gonna eyeball it but you know basically it does say one teaspoon for for five gallons so there you go i don't know um but we're just gonna go ahead and put a bunch in not too much it's not stuff that can actually kill slinky don't worry about that but it does turn it bright green this water you just put a little bit in and then what you do is you mix it on up after i put the cap back on this and then we'll let pinky just swim around and soak and it's also going to make my hands green look at this look at this stuff so let's just put it all in here mix it on up and slinky can go in there and soak and when he's soaking it should be helping him out and then, like I said, I can drain this every day very, very easily and fill it back up. And this will help Slinky out. So I'm waiting here back for my vet to see if I can get in today, Dr. Mike. Um, if I can get in today, we're going to go ahead and uh, figure out what's going on. But like I said, I've been treating him with the silver, the silver sulfidine cream. Uh, it does seem to be making an impact because I am seeing the dead skin fall away. And, you know, actually what I'm feeling here, guys, is Silvadine cream. So I do think that cream is really doing well. He doesn't like, I don't know if it hurts or it's just not, doesn't like me touching behind his butt. But um, it's always important when you see a problem arise to get on it right away with reptiles because they can get sick quick and they're very slow to heal. We're still dealing with our friend Bobby Rubino. Um, he's doing better. He's eating on his own. I put him outside during the day for some sunlight, um, but he's so slow to get... What's going on here? What's going on here, boy? He, I think he feels like climbing up on his dad. What are you doing, Slinky? What are you doing? You're making me a mess, bud. He just loves to come up and see what I'm doing. I happen to be a good lookout point. So, but you can see this stuff is like, looks like nuclear green right now, but he'll go in that. He can soak. It'll definitely help him out. It won't hurt him. Uh, it won't hurt him at all. So that shouldn't be an issue, but it should treat some of the fungus. You can also take uh, diluted betadine and that could also uh, help them out. Um, you know, that helps uh, disinfect any wounds he's climbing up on me. Now the problem is with Slinky is that he's got these sharp claws. Are you in a good mood, Slink? What are you doing, buddy? That's my ear. Be good. You want to be gentle and careful when he's this close to your face. Um, always, you know, give these guys respect. I do trust Slinky, but I'm always, you know, making sure that he's in the right kind of mood because one mistake one flinch, the way he talks is a lot different than how human beings communicate. So he might communicate with a quick nip. And unfortunately, my skin is not scaly enough to repel such a fantastic attack or hello. 
or nudge. But anyway, Slinky's a good boy. Um, I love being in here with him, and I can't wait to get him into that new enclosure. And I can't wait to get Pinky out there as well. It'll be really cool to have those guys cohabitate. Um, Buddy Tom seems to think it would be a really good spot that they could breed in because of the size of it. It's such a large enclosure. So here's hoping. Uh, in the meantime, it's all about just getting his skin feeling really, really good. Um, and I noticed it pretty quick. Oh, come on, buddy. There you go. Uh, any day now. What are you going to do? You going to go up there? Okay. So check him out. He's just going to kind of push off of me, climb up there. No problem. That's a good boy. That's a good boy. As a matter of fact, guys, I'm going to walk He's probably going to whip me a little. Hello, whip. Let's go ahead and get some of this cream and see if we can just smear some on them and just keep this going. I think I put it over here. Ah, I did. We got a little jar of this silver sulfodyne. Really anti, great antifungal properties, antibiotic properties. You should have some of this if you can get it from your vet. You're definitely going to want to get some of this if you are a reptile keeper because it is great stuff. They use it on folks who have been burned uh, as it really just fights infection. And when your skin has been, oh, he's going in. Don't go in, don't go in, don't go in. Let me get this cream on you. Come back, oh, come back. Oh, you're so cute. Maybe he'll come back out. I might have to uh, entice him with some food. It is gonna be feeding day here soon. Let me put this over here so I remember to get it. I'm gonna blow some holes in that. And uh, man, just a uh, regular old fun time. What's up, Slakey Poo? Come on out, buddy. Let me put some more of this cream on you, man. Why you gotta be like that? Come on, you character. Come on out here. Come on back out, there he is. So um, yeah, that's what I got going on, friends, is just helping Slinky, as always, my boy. You're my boy, Blue. We'll just get some rubbing on his little shoulder. Oh, look at this. See, this is all skin that's coming off anyway, it's shedding, but it might just have gotten a little bit of a rash because maybe some dirt got in there while he was shedding and uh, it got trapped in there and just kind of got funky. He doesn't seem to be hurting and his, um... oh, easy bud. I just rub it right on. And this stuff stays on a long time. I know, I know, I know, I know. What? I think it tickles. There he goes. There he goes. So that's on there. He can go in the water. He can soak in the acroflavin. And uh, we've done our job. We're trying to be a good dad here in Slinky Poo and make sure that there's no issues with this little guy. I want him to be dialed when he gets into his new house. Let's see, get that on there. There we go. So Slinky's all doctored up. He's not happy with me. It probably feels icky, I don't know. To have that kind of viscous cream. It's got a very uh, Vaseline type uh, consistency. So um, yeah, man, that's what's going on with the Slinks. I'm gonna go ahead and bang out this job here and blow some holes in that. What do you guys say? I throw you on a little time lapsey poo and uh, you can watch Slinky and I get to work. We'll see you in a minute. All right, so there you have it. Blew a hole in this so it'll drain. It will not hold water, thankfully, and we won't have any dirty water because I'm able to clear this out pretty easily. Let's uh, let the Slinkster out because he was driving me crazy when I was trying to work. Come on, buddy. Come on back out here, man. And what's good is I put that cream on him so we'll give it a time to you know, have some effect on his skin. And then if he does feel like going for a swim, he's gonna get some medicine on him there as well. Oh, settle down, buddy. 
settle down. He doesn't like being locked up uh, in the middle of the day. Come on, you're okay. You're all right, bud. That's a friend. There you go. That's my buddy. Just get this peel. All right, so uh, we'll keep you guys abreast of what's going on with the Slinkster and uh, what we got to do to remedy this little skin ailment that he's having. I think we're on the right path, though. And uh, yeah, man, we are working our butts off. I can't wait to get this guy into his new abode, and then I'm really going to redo these cages and make them super cool for the animals that are going to be living in here. So there's a lot of work to do at the camp. Hope you guys will join me for it. I love working. It's so much fun. <laughs> not really. Not when it gets real hot. Sometimes it's annoying. But hey, the finished product is going to mean a happy lizard and lizards. All right, everyone, don't forget to like and subscribe and comment below. And uh, hey, thanks a lot. See you soon.